Thus far, we've looked at very simple programs that have an input, a process, and an output. We're going to change that up a little bit, and we want to introduce a new flow into our program execution, and that is the use of a conditional with the Boolean expressions that we just looked at in the previous video. And the conditional is represented by a diamond shape. It takes one input and two outputs. And in this case, we have a Boolean expression that evaluates either true or false. If it is true, it's going to do another process. If it's false, it will bypass that and go directly to the next statement after the if loop. So here then is the structure for an if conditional in Python. We use the word if, lowercase, and then a Boolean expression we looked at in the last video. And then that is followed by a colon. And it's very important you have the colon. And then the next line we indent, usually four spaces. You can use a tab. The important thing here is that all statements that you want to do if the condition is true need to be indented the exact same number of characters. So the true process would only execute if the condition is true. Let's look at an example in Python. And here I'm going to have a program that has the user enter a number. And we're going to display if that number is even or odd. So we print out our information. We're going to get the input from the user, convert that to an integer, put it into a variable called my number. That's our input. We're going to do a process. We're going to assume that number is odd. And so we're going to create a, a variable called prompt, which takes the string value of my number and concatenates with that the phrase is odd. And then we have our if conditional structure. So I have the word if. My Boolean expression is my num mod 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to divide my number by 2. And if there's no remainder, it's going to equal 0. And if that's true, then the process we want to run is change that prompt variable to the string of the number and concatenating the phrase is even. Regardless of whether that expression is true or false, we'll execute the next line. It's indented back over to the far left. So now I'm outside of that if conditional, and we're going to output the value of prompt, which will be either the number is even or the number is odd, based on whether that expression was true or false. Here there's my program as a Python file. I'm going to go to the Run menu and choose Run Module, and we'll watch this work. I get my printout of what the program does. It asks me to enter an integer. I'm going to put in 34, press the Enter key, and I'm told that 34 is even. If I run it again, this time I put in an odd number. Let's go 17, and I'm told 17 is odd. So it gives two different results based on the value of this expression of my num modulus 2, whether that equals 0 or not. And if it doesn't equal 0, this line never executes, and the prompt remains that it's odd. In the next lesson, we'll look at using uh, a variation of this called an if-else structure in which we can not have our prompt up here, but do two different things based on the value of the conditional.